Well, the Department of Public Health holding their second public hearing today regarding Bay State Health's proposed closing of two intensive care units. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers is live in Westfield with more on how today's meeting went. Caroline? Dave and Beth, about three dozen people came out today to express their concerns with Bay State Health's proposed closures of IC units at both Bay State Wing in Palmer and Noble Hospital here in Westfield. Now, as part of the process, the Department of Public Health holds these public hearings. Yesterday, there was one in Palmer, and community members at today's meeting say they are concerned with losing intensive care in their neighborhood and on this side of the Connecticut River. The Massachusetts Nurses Association also hoping the proposed closures don't go through. One person who attended today's meeting told me she believes this is a safety issue for patients. They have many other towns around this area that use Noble Hospital, and if someone's very critical, they can't be transported all the way to Springfield, she believes. Now, these changes from Bay State come as the organization also looks to eliminate mental health beds at Bay State Wing, Noble Hospital, and Bay State Franklin Medical Center, with those patients being moved to a planned new inpatient behavioral health hospital in Holyoke. Bay State Health says they have have partnered with a com company called U.S. Health Vest in order to increase capacity of behavioral health beds in the community. They recognize that access to care is not often how they'd want it, but with this new building in Holyoke, they would be able to increase their capacity by 30 to 40 percent and offer behavioral health care to adolescents and children. Now, tonight at 7 in Greenfield, there is a city council meeting and they will be voting on a resolution to keep those inpatient services at that hospital in Franklin County. We're live in Westfield. I'm Caroline Powers for Western Mass News.